So hello and welcome to the Fracture Modifier Build Learning Series Episode 1 How to get started. I'm Dennis from the Fracture Modifier development team and I'm very proud to present a new series with actual new and fresh learning stuff for the Fracture Modifier. So I don't want to talk uh, too much, let's go and get started. Open uh, BlenderPhysics.com uh, for those that know me uh, from the past, <clears throat> I had an, uh, another homepage, uh, df-vfx.de, uh, where I have mixed too many different things and I have to delete it now in the future and split things. So Blender Physics come is a new private project and I'm collecting there different software, different add-ons or builds for Blender, especially for physical simulation within Blender. So that's just by the way, go to the site and go to Fracture Modifier and then you will find the uh, old project site. It uh, should look similar to uh, the one you know from before. So um, there's nothing, nothing special, nothing has been changed. So for the newcomers, the Fracture Modifier build is a special build. Um, you need to download it and use it because in the official version of Blender is no Fracture Modifier included. This is not a problem because you can download it, unzip it anywhere on your drive and then run it from there. It will not affect your regular installation and uh, normally you should have all your installed add-ons and user preferences inside without the need to change anything. So um, another thing is that that special build comes with an additional add-on that is called helper add-on. And this is an assistant that will make your life much, much easier than working with the Fracture Modifier without this add-on. It's not required, but it's highly recommended. And you cannot download the helper add-on and use it with the official Blender version. Uh, there is no Fracture Modifier inside. All right, so when you're going to download a build that matches your system, you will find the helper add-on is already there inside. But sometimes you will find a newer version on this homepage. That's why we have a separate uh, download button here. So whenever you uh, download a version or using your uh, Fracture Modifier build, please make sure that your helper add-on is the latest. All right, so let's get started. Download um, the one that matches your system. Download the last helper add-on. And once everything uh, has been saved, open the folder and unzip it there. And when done, open your build from this folder. So let's start the Fracture Modifier build and then you will find that splash. We make for uh, every new build, we upload a new splash, especially for the Fracture Modifier, because we like the special thing when you open this, uh, this special, this custom build, it gives a good feeling to us. And um, yeah, so now the Fracture Modifier build is running and you will find the Fracture button here on the right side. And first thing we have to do is uh, make sure that the helpers add-on is activated. So here you can see it is. I have that Fracture tab here and I have some buttons here, but you should take a look yourself. Go to the user preferences, open and uh, type in helper. So it's here. If uh, that checkbox is unchecked, please enable it. And if you don't find that uh, object Fracture Helpers here, you have to go to Install Add-on from File and then go to uh, the folder where you have downloaded it and then click on the helper.zip and click on Install Add-on from File and then you should find this here. Okay, so I would say Blender is prepared to go for fracturing. So um, this is my default scene, but I will delete everything here. So we will uh, do it together. Uh, first thing uh, we will need in all scenes we are doing, I think, is a ground. So let's do one. Press Shift A, generate a cube, cube and scale it. So press S, press Z. Oh my God, press S, press Z. And then just move, what's going on here? Press S, press Z, and then move it down here. So now press S again, and now I want to scale it in all directions except Z. So I, I hit Shift and Z, and then scale in these directions. Very clever trick. I love the workflow of Blender, really. Okay, let me, let me bring that here. 
And uh, now we need to make this a rigid body. Um, in general, you can go to rigid body, click on passive one, and um, you can do the same thing on the left side in the helper add-on. Click on rigid body, make it a passive one. Yes. Uh, why do we have that already uh, all, all on the left when it's already on the right side? It's because um, the things you will find in the add-on here are uh, buttons or operations we will do very often. And um, some things are so complicated that you would need to to uh, run through different panels here, open and close, uh, check something out, fracture again. And um, a better workflow is to have a central point with basic operations here on the left side. So that's why we did this add-on. So we have a ground here. It's a passive rigid body. And now we need something that falls on it. So let's, of course, make a cube. This is a standard thing. Uh, let me rotate it a little bit. So when we play the animation, nothing happens because this cube is not a rigid body and it is not fractured. We do not need to make it a rigid body yet, yet because the fracture modifier does it itself. So on the right side, that would mean we click on fracture, click on execute fracture and then play the animation. And here we go. You could do the same. Let me delete it yet. You could do the same on the left side with the helper add-on. Just click on add fracture and it's done. It's the same. So, and um, we can make the shards visible. So just click on toggle wireframe and you will see how it is looking like. And uh, if you want to have more pieces, let's uh, go to the shard count slider and type something here like 250, execute fracture, and then you will find out it will have more pieces. This is so cool. I love the, this amazing workflow and it is so fast so fast it's incredible and um we could do um something like let's make it look like a wooden fracture so that would mean all pieces should be stretched in that direction so enable that and type in something like five and execute fracture again and then you will see that wonderful pieces are stretched to the z axis really really cool and there's another thing let's say auto execute that will uh, make your changes visible in real time. But take care, that depends on your system and might crash Blender. So take care when using it. So I can change the shots to 50 and see in real time what's going on here. So I can slide it and uh, yeah, it's really cool. Also the splinter length. So makes a lot of fun to work with this, but don't forget to disable it. All right. Uh, another thing you should know is when you add the fracture modifier to an object, this will automatically generate materials for you. So yeah, uh, some mix yet, I don't know why. So you will find an outer and an inner material. So um, let me use nodes, make the outer, let's say red, and you will see it will have that color outside. And for inside, we have an inner material. So. Let's say green. I know that is not beautiful, but <laughs> just to show you what is uh, going on here. So uh, the fracture modifier makes that uh, shader a material setup for you. You don't need to do anything. All right. And uh, some fantastic effects are to use uh, emission materials for inside that is glowing in the dark or something like this. All right. So I would say for a start, that will be enough. I'm uh, going to um, tell you what the other settings are for in the future with other uh, episodes. Um, please comment this video. Tell us what you would like to see in the future. Uh, special scenes or uh, if you want to know how to make anything, how to export anything, whatever. Please comment below and uh, I would be happy to see you the next time again. Goodbye.